Good morning, everybody. Hello, welcome. We're going on an adventure today. Was that a good intro? Uh, yeah, so I actually have, look at who's sitting next to me. It's my kayak. <laughs> my kayak actually fits all the way inside my SUV, which is pretty cool. So, um, so does that mean it's an eight foot kayak? It must be an eight foot. Um, so I had an idea. It's a little windy today for like artifact hunting along the water um, of the lakes, but I had an idea to throw my kayak in on one of the little streams, the little cricks that run through the land over here. And um, it's going to be hard to navigate. There's going to be lots of log jams and stuff like that. But the creek has been winding through them farm fields, you know, for thousands of years. So there could be artifacts on the edges of the creek, you know. Uh, and I know a lot of the farmers out that way. So I have permission um, definitely around some of that land. So we will actually go park out by one of my permissions and we'll, let's just see what it looks like. Here we go, here's the Prairie Sack Bridge, yay! Can you guys see down there? Oh, it looks windy. It looks windy down there on the river. Oh yeah, look at the flag. Okay, okay, calm down everybody. All right, we'll see you guys out by the stream. Okay, what do you guys think? We got, we got a bridge here and this is Honey Creek or is it Otter Creek? I think this is Honey Creek. See it goes into the woods there? There's my kayak. So yeah, see it looks like smooth sailing, but I know there's gonna be dozens and dozens of clogs. Um, we had a little bit of rain, so I wish the water was actually lower and clearer, but I think we should just go on a little adventure anyway. Uh, the only thing is we have to figure out how to get back to our car once we get way downstream. But I thought ahead and look, it's side character Tom. Why'd he stop back there like a weirdo? <clears throat> Why did you stop way back there? Hey, this is my car. I can stop wherever I want. <laughs> Maybe I should get somebody else to pick me up. <laughs> he's look at he's <laughs> he's a master parker. Yeah, I told them. I told them you're coming. Who? The the audience, the most important people in the world. Oh, yeah. Okay, so Tom had to come see where I was putting in because he's the creek is is higher than it has been. Aw. Have you been okay, out? guys? I'll catch back up with you when I'm starting to float. Bye bye. Wow, this is fantastic! I just started floating. The water is definitely higher than I wish. But this is great. Look, we got rapids, white water. Oh, hey, there was a muskrat. We're stuck on a log already. Oh, this is so cool though. Um, doing this with one hand is kind of stupid. There we go. Look it, we got a pretty good amount of current. So yeah, um, I guess I'll look at the banks. Otherwise, I'll just kind of turn this into a kayaking adventure. This is really cool. Look, let's see what's around the corner. I bet we'll see our first clog. I cannot believe there's not trees down over this. <clears throat> wow, this is really neat though. You could just imagine the Indian campsites up on these banks. But see, streams and stuff like this they're constantly changing. Like if you were to do a time lapse over a, a hundred years or I mean a thousand years, it would just be like a coiling snake as it wears away one bank and builds up land on another spot. Like it just wind, you know, this could be cutting through land that was just way out in the open, you know, 5,000 years ago. So it's just neat. So I guess what I can do is kind of look at banks like this and see if I see any signs of um, Indian inhabitants 
would that be really cool or anything else cool i see so uh but yeah is this gonna be awesome oh here's our first clog i might as well keep filming oh no oh no see this will be the story of my life today is trying to get through stuff like this Ooh, yay i can sneak through this one okay all right i'll put the phone away for now uh oh i better do that soon i'm going the wrong way okay we'll see you guys in a little bit um guys uh oh my goodness it just keeps getting worse whoa this is the worst one yet i did have to get out i've actually only had to get out once so far and go over a log Uh, this is a slight issue. Hey, the water's going this way, though. Oh, could you imagine? Oh, my goodness. Oh, so close. Can I weasel through there? Oh, my gosh. I'm going to try to weasel right through there. Can, can I do it? Oh, I should have brought the mount so I could have mounted you guys. Okay, I'm going to try to weasel through there. Hey, look. Yeah, I found my first gravel bar. Um, so normally this would have probably been sticking out of the water. Um, but I'm just parked on it here. It's in the middle of the stream. And we're floating. Um, Uh-oh, we're moving. So look, there's some really neat glacial stones look at the nice colors here let me grab a couple wow look at this look at how look at this granite quartzite and who knows iron ore i don't know what that is look at just a quick little grab and them amazing colors that neat wow and you know technically there could be an artifact laying in here wow that water's cold um, let's see. Here, can we use the the kayak to block the water? Not really. Woo! Oh, my hand's going to get numb if I keep it in there. Isn't that neat? Wow, that's really cool. Maybe I'll take this quartzite. Since we're probably not going to find any artifacts, we might have to do some rock hounding. This is pretty cool. Man, I like just chilling on this rock bar. But yeah, I think when the water's low, this would be completely sticking out. So I'll have to keep uh, keep my eye out for more rocky areas like this. Because see, it, it's this whole spot here, but the water's a little too high. And it's hard to see because there's little rapids. White water. So, all right. That's cool, though. Hopefully there'll be more gravel bars. Okay, well, I just went through a couple log jams there. I'll show you the story of my life. Oh, what do we got here, guys? We got whitewater rapids. Oh, my gosh. I've had to get out six times now and weasel my way through duck, dip, and dodge and uh, around uh, probably about 10 different log jams. Wow, we got whitewater rapids, guys. Let's go. See, I love when the trees fall so I can sneak through. Like, this is not even a an issue. Wow. This, whoa, look. This is like a crossing spot. See, there's like tractor tracks there. Is there a stop sign? I don't want to get run over. Yeah, look. This is like a tractor crossing. Here we go, guys. White water in Wisconsin. Yay. Cool. Um, wow, yeah, actually. Uh-oh, we're spinning. This is the first time I've seen this type of stone along the edge. This must have been dumped here for erosion. Um, darn it. Uh-oh, the white water is going to take us right into that log. Okay, I got to put my phone down. 
Okay, ooh, good thing I stopped filming right when I did at that last log jam. I almost got flipped over. That water was cruising. Uh-oh, we're, wow, are we in some backwater here? Okay, good, I can take a rest. Yeah, that water was just cooking through there under that log. And it got me sideways up against that log. And if you've ever been in that predicament, you can see how sketchy it gets really quick. So it tried to like suck, suck me under and flip me. So, <laughs> so I put all my weight up on the log instead of in the kayak and stabilized myself and got to the shore. I had to drain my kayak, had some water in it. Uh, yeah, and then I walked around, I pulled my kayak around that spot and now, now we're back in more like a field. And that was right when side character Tom was calling me as I was getting sucked under the log. Um, so yeah, now we're in more like a, like a open field type of deal, which is really cool. There's no clogs. It looks like they put um, limestone. You know, it looks like they kind of dumped limestone along the edges here probably a long time ago, maybe to stop the stream from, you know, cruising into the, moving into the fields, something. Okay, so it looks like we're heading for another woods up there. Uh, there is some wind out here in the open, so it's, I'll probably stop filming, but I thought I'd tell you about my close encounter of getting wet. Okay, bye-bye. Whoa. Look, I came up on like a dam. Can you guys see the drop off? I thought it was man-made. It's such a perfect line. It's a beaver dam, but it drops like two and a half feet. Here, let's go over here where I'm not gonna crash. Oh my gosh, I almost went over the edge too because I was looking over the edge. Uh-oh, hold on. I don't wanna go over yet. Okay, sorry about that. I almost went over. Look it. I don't know if it's like, there is no way I'm going over right there. We might be able to go over right in these, in this brush over here, cause it's so shallow. Oh my gosh, look it, I almost went over that. And I went to stick my oar down to like stop myself and I couldn't touch. It's a super deep hole. I would have uh, went under. I never thought this was gonna be dangerous. This is cool though. Here, let's go off. Let's go off this side. There we go. Oh gosh, now I'm stuck. Oh, I hope I don't break my. Oh gosh. <laughs> I'm stuck on a beaver dam. Isn't this cool? I'm trying to just go off the edge here. There. Can I pull myself through? Look it. We're conquering the beaver dam one-handed. Oh gosh, I'm gonna have to ditch my sweater. This is a lot of work. We're conquering. Scoot, scoot. Look, we just came down through there. We're almost free. Oh my gosh, that was way too hard. That was too hard one-handed. There we go, we're free floating. Oh my gosh. That's the thing about this adventure. I get to rest for like three minutes until another obstacle approaches. So I'm gonna get my sweater off and see what's around the next corner. See, I was telling you, I just get to rest for three minutes, but I lied. I got to rest for like I just got my sweater off. Let me make sure I grab this twig here. Look, we got another beaver dam. Uh-oh. This one's a little smaller. Oh, I don't think I can go over that. Here, let's creep up. I'm grabbing these sticks. Oh, I can't go over that right there. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go right on the shore and just try to try to get myself down over there or something. Okay. Hey, it looks like I get to rest for a little bit after I get down from here. We'll see though. Okay, 
Oh, I was hoping to start recording when there's no wind. Um, okay, I finally got a straightaway where there's no logs. And look, there's a bridge. So I'm going to get picked up because there is, um, this is not very good hunting as far as rocks or artifacts. Like there's just, there's no rock bars. The water's too high. And um, it's going to be a long trek if I go past this bridge to get to the next bridge. And, um, yeah, I, I recorded some of the struggle, and there was probably about four times more struggle than I recorded. Uh, yeah, my my kayak is kind of trashed. I'm surprised it's still in one piece, to be honest. Ooh, I'm just floating now, though. This is nice. Um, so, hey, but you know what? We're not giving up. We're going to go find an artifact. So let's regroup. Let's slam some coffee. Uh, take the kayak back home and let's go out in a field and we'll go, we'll go find something. Oh, Hey, we got some rapids coming up. Oh, oh yeah. I never put my phone on silence. Whoops. Uh, there's some rapids coming up. Uh Oh, I'm trying to steer with one hand. All right. You guys ready for the rapids? Hold on. Hold on to your armchairs. Here we go! Ooh. Oh, cool. Now that's relaxing. Okay, guys, we'll see you back at the house. Okay, hey, guys. Uh, just a different day here. Really crappy out. It's uh, kind of rainy and windy, so, but I, I flipped, I thought this was a flake, and it looks a little better than a flake. Let's go wash it off. Um, I can't tell, it's really, it's kind of cold and windy and not nice out. Oh, cool. Yeah, we got a, awesome. Wow, it's got some nice working right here, actually. Yeah. See, even when the weather's terrible, you can still go out and check. It's like a knife blade. Look. Like this is the cutting edge. Wow. Awesome. Yeah, look, it'd be hafted like this. It probably used to be longer and they kept sharpening it down. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Wow. Yeah, I, I was just walking and I... I kind of flicked it out because I thought it was just a chip. I usually don't find stuff up on the this part anyway, so I didn't think it was anything. Awesome. Okay, I'll keep looking around. Oh, yeah, I'm going to an uh, Arrowhead, an artifact show later today at uh, MATC University in Madison, Wisconsin. So it's going to be cool having an artifact that I found the same day because I'm going to bring my stuff. Okay, I'll see if I can find another one. Check this out, guys. I, it might just, it must just be a big flake, but it's really thin and cool looking, and it's stuck in here really hard into the clay. Look at how thin it is. It must just be a flake, but let's check it out. Oh my gosh. Wow. Super, super awesome flake. See, that's in the, uh, it's stuck in the, the clay layer. Wow, that's cool. So them heavy winds uncovered that. Oh yeah, I should have told you, it's the next day now, so I'm checking the aftermath of the windstorm. Okay, I'll keep looking. <clears throat> wow, guys, check this out. I think I got a double whammy, which is super rare for me. Okay, so right here, there is a broken tip of like a blade. And then right on the shore here, look. Uh, right here. Can you guys see it? Uh, it's a durst. A durst uh, point. Okay, let's get this one first. Wow, this is rare for me. So this is completely shattered and broken. So the tip's got a little nick. Wow, it has really neat workmanship though. It would have been awesome. I still think it's awesome. Okay, so we got a broken blade tip here. 
And then, yeah, there's, I, I glanced over and I'm like, no way. And then look, right? Right here is a, uh, oh wait, what is it? Wow, cool. It's a lot cooler than I thought. It's wider. Here, let's rinse it. Wow, cool. Here, let me get some of the water off. You can see the chipping better. Wow, this is great. Wow, it, it blends in with my hand. Can we, can we see the shape of it? In the water, would that be better? Here, look. It's like the same color as my cold hand. Wow, yep. So this is a Durst style uh, point named after the uh, Durst Rock Shelter in Sauk County, Wisconsin here. And they have excavated and they've dated it, the site, to about 3,000 years. So these Durst styles um, have this base with these two big, wide indents like that. This one's a little goofy. It's awesome. It's kind of wide right here. I'm not used to that. So yeah, this is around 3,000 years old. That's incredible. I just found two things at once. That's uh, that's only happened to me maybe twice in my life. Wow. Two or three times in my life, probably. All righty. This will get added to the next uh, artifact hunting video once I have enough finds to make it worth it. So cool. Okay, I just turned off the camera from finding them too, and I see something else, I think. I don't have my boots on. Look at, can you guys see this? There's this man-made some like, is this rock? Dude, if this is a point, it's broken, but it's really awesome. It's got awesome color, unless it's not even a stone. It's goofy looking. Oh my gosh, I hope it's stone. It's got some awesome color. Oh, is that not stone? What is this? Wow. What the heck? This is cool. Let me dry it a little bit. Why is it crooked? Oh my gosh, I found a crooked point. Okay, let's let it focus. It's got really cool color. Um, okay, there we go. Look at, it's, it's curved. See? It's curved, it's like a drill or something. Oh my gosh, the color would have been, it probably doesn't pick it up very good, but it's like quartzy and crystally here, and then it goes into like a chert. Oops. Uh, a chert line on the top. Like, oh, the color is amazing. So yeah, I found another artifact. All in like five minutes. We'll have to look at this closer under uh, better circumstances in the cleanup video. I think it's like a drill, but it's crooked. <laughs> oh man, I wish that would have been full. Then we could have saw what the heck that was used for. Uh, isn't that neat? Wow, I'm having the best day. I've only been here a couple minutes. You guys see any more? Should I leave the camera on? Here, you guys look around. In the comments, tell me where the stuff is. Guys, check this out. I'm in a, a field that I have permission, of course. And I just walked, I'm actually right by my car. I just walked out in the field. And look, this is really broken up. But look at this, is this paleo? Look at this, this is cool. Let's check it out. Wow, it's so busted up. Oh my gosh, is that? Wow, look at that curved base. Oh yeah, it's really ground. Wow, that might have been, oh my gosh, could you guys imagine? Wow, what is that, guys? See, I've never found a full one of these, so I don't know what it is. This looks like paleo. See, it's got this curved base. It's really ground. Oh, man. This would have probably been really long, like out here. And then it's this side's broken off, too, so. Wow. 
Oh man, that's cool. I guess I'll have to double check that I don't have any more pieces of this <laughs> in my collection, but holy cow, I didn't expect that. Um, this field's been really picked out, so I don't find a lot. Uh, hey, look, a chip. Okay, I'll keep looking around. Whoa, guys, check out this stone. This looks non-natural. Look, it looks like it's been shaped. Look! <laughs> I already picked it up. I thought it was some kind of cool shaped stone. Like a, you know, an artifact. <laughs> it's like, it's like part of a rubber ball. Oh dear. Check this out, guys. I was just walking in the shallow water, so I'm in like, yeah, six, eight inches of water, and look, I think there's a coin. Let's check it out. It is a nickel. Look at it, it's all rusty. Yep, 1964 nickel. All right, guys, I got something. Might just be a flake, though, but <clears throat> it's kind of hiding in here. So see, right here? So see, it looks like it just, ah, there's deer prints right next to it. It could just be a flake, but it looks like I can see working on it. Oh, look, I see shape. <gasps> Is there a point? Here, let's slowly uncover it. Look, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Wow, it's actually really nice to me. Oh, actually, it is pretty nice. Got a little stacking there. Oh, it's got some pretty nice... Uh, here, let me dry it a bit. You can uh, see the chipping better if it's kind of somewhat drier. Awesome. We got a little point. So I don't know what that would have been. But it is awesome. I'm so happy it's all there. So I don't know if that's just like a little little tiny knife or I guess it could be a, a dart point. Very cool. I guess it could be a little preform too, but no, it's already pretty small. Awesome. I love it. Yay. I'm so happy. Okay. I'll keep looking around. Hey guys. So it's early morning after a windstorm. So I'm down by the lake shore and I, I've actually already grabbed these because I didn't know what they were. Actually, I still don't know what they are. Look at, there's three of these cool, cool buckles. These are definitely old, like horse, for like horse uh, harnesses or something. Wow, these are really cool. Are they like brass? They're in really good condition. And there was three right here, kind of stuck in the mud. I grabbed them without thinking that I should have recorded it. Uh, so I will watch for more stuff. And I found another weird mystery metal thing uh, that I'll show you in the cleanup. Um, it's probably more stuff from like a horse harness or something. Uh, but maybe you guys could let me know. Maybe that's something else. That's got to be what that is though. Something to do with a an old horse harness. So this could be, oh, really old, 100 years old. And while I was doing that, is this just conveniently broken like this? Yeah. <laughs> Look at it looks like the base of an arrowhead. It might be a leftover flint chip or something, but this is, this is nothing good. <laughs> Too convenient. Uh, this little spot shoreline does have like lots of little weird metal things sometimes. So I will keep my eye out for more stuff. Yeah, this whole area right here kind of washed away from the, uh, the windstorm, so I'll keep my eye out for anything cool. See, here's metal right here. There we go. You guys want this, Neil? There's another one. What else do we got? Okay, I'll keep you posted. Hey, guys. <clears throat> we got something here. And this looks interesting, too. What is this? This is just a rock, but let's look at it. Oh wow, that's actually 
That's actually, I don't know if you guys can see it, but yeah, that's like a, some kind of like chert, like it's like layered, like this is a nodule from, like a chert nodule, and it's layered. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, the reason I turned the camera on is I thought this was just a big old flake, uh, but it looks like it might have working on it. Oh, it's got tons of working. Oh, it's awesome. Um, let me dry it off a little. Wow. So let me look, not through the camera. Uh, yeah, there's working all, really fine working along <clears throat> that whole edge on both sides. And it snapped. Am I looking at this wrong? Okay. Is it just like a thumb scraper, like a scraper? Uh, yeah, I'm guessing it was like a real nice quality scraper. Oh my gosh, if that, if that whole thing was there, that would have been amazing. I'm still really happy. That's, see, in my book, that's even good enough for my case. Woohoo! I had a feeling we were going to have a good day today. Uh, there was a lot of windstorms, and now it's sunny and calm. And it's awesome. So I think we're going to do great today. Then I might be able to finally have enough footage for the video. Thank you, geese. The geese are saying hi to you guys. Okay, I'll be back. Hey, guys, look. I think I see a notch. It's only been about 10 minutes. We're on a roll today. Uh, it looks broken, though. I hope that's a notch. Oh, cool. Look it. Awesome. It's a super cool base. Oh, I love it. And it's very broken. Where's the end of it? Wow, I still love it. Isn't that neat? Oh, I love... Oh, it's almost like dovetail. Oh, yeah, because it's missing a little bit right here. Is that considered like a dovetail? Wow, that would have been so cool. Oh, wow, that color is really neat, too. Oh, I love it. Just the fact that we got the notches. I'm a sucker for notches. Uh, my favorite po uh, favorite artifacts is just <laughs> side notch and corner notch points. Cool. Man, I got skunked like three times since that kayak trip. Today we're on a roll. I just got started, too. Let's just keep walking. I'm going to walk all kinds of spots and... Let's see how many we can find. Maybe we can find a full artifact today. All right, I better start walking. What the heck is this? Nanner banana? What the heck is a nanner banana? Is that one of my subscribers? Or is that something that I'm allergic to? Maybe a beaver wrote that. I don't know. Nanner banana. A newfound mystery. Hey, what's this, guys? Is this a treasure? No! Oh, geez. Okay, guys. I made it back to the car. Woo! That was like a two-mile walk in my waders. Whew, I need a little break. But we're going to head to the next lake. There's hardly any wind. So let's see if we can find... Actually, that would be a good challenge for today. We should see how many bodies of water we can find an artifact. Because you'd be surprised, uh, most bodies of water that were around, you know, a few thousand years ago, have some kind of artifacts around them. Uh, sometimes people just don't look, or they might not be, always be exposed. Because sometimes it's just like muddy swamp, uh, you know, marsh or something on the edge of the water. So then you wouldn't find nothing. But if you got a body of water that has... Uh, you know, some kind of erosion going where kind of gravels and rocks are exposed on the edges. You should be good to go. Okay, I'll get back to you when we get to the next lake. Here's kind of a strange sight. A goose egg. He must have got really excited when he was flying over. Weird. That's the first goose egg I've seen it underwater. Looks kind of fresh, too. Okay, how you guys doing? Should I leave the camera on? Oh, 
Oh, geez, right away I was like, here, this looks like chert. It's pointy. <laughs> How you guys doing there? Let's see. I'll leave you guys on for a second. Maybe we'll do a real uh, live find. See, I look for color like this. Oh, yeah, look at this beautiful flake. Wow, talk about paper thin. Wow, I could actually use that to cut. Yeah, look at that. Hopefully it's focused. I can't tell. Beautiful little flake. Almost looks like a fish scale. Ooh. Okay. Hey, wow. We're at a different lake now, like I said. Maybe I will leave you guys on for a little bit. Because look at this. Another flake. Uh, we got other weird stuff. Look at... Rib bones. Here's a little bit of like porcelain. See them windstorms uncover stuff. Wow, I'm not used to. Uh, wow, weird. There's like a, some pheasant feathers or something. I'm actually not used to seeing them high quality little chips in this spot right here. So that's kind of exciting, you know? Uh, oh. I'm bent over. I'm hunched. I like getting my face closer to the water, but my back can't do that for very long. Look at, see, there's a bigger chip. Potato chip. Oh, wow. It got really nice out. It was in the 30s when I first left. Now it's like, it must be mid 40s. Wow, some of this chert... Wow, look at this. Hey, a fish jumped. Wow. Man. They should have made me an arrowhead out of this. Man, that one's awesome. Oh god, I don't want to carry it right now. Um, because I didn't I don't have I left my backpack in the car. Yeah, guys, this windstorm did stuff. Look at, that's a little chip. Here's a chip. All right, we're gonna find something. Here's a nail. You guys want me to leave you one? You guys gotta behave. Porcelain. Wow, could you imagine if we found a full one on camera like this? Well, even a broken one would be fine because we gotta f we gotta find one at every body of water that we go to. <clears throat> well, hey, we found flakes. I guess that's not considered an artifact though. My eye spotted that orange. Hey. <laughs> Look at that. That's a fishing lure. Yeah, I'm really surprised at how many flakes got pushed up by the the waves or uncovered by the waves. That's pretty cool. Okay, you guys tell me if you see something. Sometimes I look for little edges just like this. Nope, that's a big rock, right? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you only see the little edge of something, you know? Okay, you guys keep your eyes peeled. Should we do like a live stream sometime? And you guys can look and try to yell at me? Wow, look at this. Muskrat. Is that a muskrat den? something pretty cool okay i see some more ceramics a nail what do you guys see wow lots of human debris but see that's good because when you start seeing you know 
people lived in the same spots even even a lot of the indians and people nowadays chose very similar spots to live so even when you see debris like this and this wow that's actually really that glass has been in there for a long time this is very old um recent debris you know yeah, there's kind of a lot of it. And we're kind of in the boonies. Like, there's no houses here. I probably should turn the camera off, but I'm like, you know what? We'll take, like, one more step. And then one more step. Because what if I turn it off and then there's an arrowhead sitting there? Okay, we have something. This could be a chip, but it actually, I was kind of uncovering it, and it feels kind of solid. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah, it is solid. Yes! Wow! Cool. Yeah, it's kind of crude. Oh, it's all there, though. We did find a full one. Yeah, it's like a, it's a really crude uh, knife or scraper. Wow. There we go. We got a we have a full artifact from spot number two. Wow, that's awesome. I actually like it a lot. It's full. It's just a little clunky. Is that what the word? Clunky? Oh, that's awesome. Uh-oh, the waves are starting to pick up. Darn it. Okay. All right, I'll be back. Okay. All right, we made it back home for the cleanup. Uh, so I, I did stop at the third lake, but it was getting too windy and the waves were bad and I couldn't see much. So I did not find anything at the third spot, but that's okay because we did really good. So here's all the stuff from, I'd say the last like three weeks or even month um, of all my different hunts and stuff. So that footage was from kind of all different uh, time frame because you even saw snow on the ground for hmm, this one uh, So yeah, let's check out what we found. So we got three of these awesome harness things If anybody knows more about these, but I would guess these are like a horse harness, right? They're really well made and awesome, you know, like they would still work nowadays These must be at least 80 years old if I was gonna guess Hopefully a hundred. Oh, yeah after I turned off the camera I found this right next to him too, and it's got some leather strap on it still so see, it's definitely part of a cool harness. I'm thinking the whole harness might be there in the mud, you know. Uh, this weird object was not next to this other stuff, but is this something to do with horses, or what is this, guys? It's very goofy. Okay, now uh, on to the artifacts. So we have nine artifacts, which is really good for me. But that was a lot of hunts, and I actually got skunked many times. Um, I have to hunt really hard and long to find this much stuff. But I think this is enough stuff to, for a good video. So we got three of the knife blade scrapers, possibly preforms. I think they're all just scrapers and knives. This one could have been a projectile, I guess. We got the super awesome Durst. This is the the best artifact of the, uh, of the hunt. Uh, that one's my favorite. This, uh, maybe somebody can tell me what these, this style is called. Because I've never found one of these. So I I don't know how big it would have been. Or I think these are kind of wide. You know, this is barely this, you know, that's like the center point. So it would have been kind of wide. Super cool. That weird drill. Um, hey. Animals, of course, have to disturb my video. And uh, look at the color on this now that we can see it in the better lighting. Like it would have been such a neat artifact if it was full. This super cool base that I love. Maybe someday, oh, it's, yeah, it's like dovetail almost. Maybe someday I will find the tip of it. I have done that once before. We got the super cool, very high quality scraper, broken though. And then the awesome high quality, um, oh yeah, wow, that's got neat. Look at really nice um, craftsmanship on that. But oops! Oh no! Don't break it more. So there we go, guys. All right. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Hit like and subscribe, and I will start compiling clips 
of uh, all the next stuff that I find so we can get another video going and we'll go on some more adventures. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.